We're here, bro. Come on, man. Peace. It's long. We made it. We made it, man. Finally pulled him on the cock. We got G, Imani man. on the motherfucking mic night, bro. Imani here. Imani on the mic. Do you go Imani's by your? Here. Do you like using your 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 Govy or you like using Imani? Nah, I go by Imani. You go, oh, for yeah, sure. Yeah, I, I basically. I ain't gonna I, even say the Govy now. I ain't gonna even say it. Nah, yeah. Yeah, no. I, I tripped on some mushrooms one day and basically <laughs> understood why who Jesus is. Uh huh. It's long. And I was just like, basically. Oh, you just got to be a righteous man. Do you know follow law, and. You can build your energy the, the same as that dude built his energy. Yeah. Like, <laughs> talk, the yeah. Lord has spoken. That's it. The Lord has spoken, bro. So anything else? Uh, that's the podcast. That's it. that. That's it. That is it. So you, I mean, so it that specific trip. What else? Any other point? Wait, wait, wait. Let's pray first. Yeah, let's open it up. Facts. I want to get back to that. <laughs> yeah. Seriously. So before we get too deep in the story, time. for real. <laughs> in the name of Allah, the beneficent, the most merciful. All praise is due to Allah, the Lord of the worlds. The beneficent, the most merciful, and master of the day of judgment, thee alone do we serve, thee alone do we beseech for divine aid. Guide us on the right path, the path upon whom thou hast bestowed favors, not upon whom thy wrath has been brought down, nor upon those who go astray. Amen. 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 As well. Amen. Yeah, I was I was gonna eventually get to the to the story of Jesus and how you're him and you got hair like lamb's wool and rocking Jesus sandals on Sunday, but you jumped to it. <laughs> but I want, I'm curious specifically, what did you learn during that, during that experience? It was pretty much, uh, this was before pandemic where uh, I was sitting in my vehicle and I just had a, basically a bunch of flashes. The truck? Of, no, I was at this point I was sitting in my Subaru behind oh, my house, okay. which is like my garden. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I was just like, I saw these visions of basically the end times. And I was just like, what? Fire, burning buildings? Fire, burning buildings, people uh, incoherent, just running around, just okay. don't know what they're doing. Yeah. And I was just like, yo, like, what made Jesus Jesus? Like, everyone, why is this man so powerful that everyone is pre praying to him? Everyone is looking to be him. Like, who is he? Mm-hmm. And Good then it's like, really, you know, he was a carpenter. He he uh, learned from a lot of wise men. Really sat within himself to figure out what is good and evil, or yeah. what is what should we do as humans. Yeah. And it was like, okay, well, he was just really big on that. He was really big on being an, a true man and figure in the, in the world or in the community that he was in. Yeah, and trusting with nature, which what God provided. Yeah. And so he did that and he became who he was. Yeah. And it was just like, all right, well, am I ready to give myself to this mission to be able to walk the same path and, you know, show that, hey, like, I can have long hair, I can have feminine traits. Yeah. But I can still be a real man that, Facts, bro. you know, a God given man. Yeah. And show up every day and just be walking my light. Mm hmm. <laughs> and bro. anybody know Imani's from work? <laughs> Facts. He's been working. That's all bro. It is. No, all he does is work. He and don't, he don't kiki people. He he just. And if he's kiki, he, he pop he's up chopping fruit. Yeah, he he pop up with some with some work for real. You know what For I'm saying? Real. So, I'm, <laughs> did this vision happen before you really like hit the pavement? Uh huh. So, bro, are you serious? This vision happened when bro. I. This was like a year. Or, into me learning how to build like our ancestors, build gardens, build homes out of, you know, brick. Carpentry. Not, not brick, but um, cob and mixing Word. grasses and fibers with clay and how that builds walls and long, strong You learn how to build, I see I missed this part of your journey, bro. I didn't know all this. So this was. Be a carpenter, man. I, I mean, damn, I didn't know you fall. Like, you literally were Jesus, bro. I thought you were like him, but I'm follow, like, follow, follow, follow the carpenter. path, man. <laughs> it's the path. What they say on, on the Mandalorian, bro. this is the way. Nah, man. It, it is the way. No, it's the only way. Bro. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. If you can get comfortable in understanding, like, this is the way. This is the this way. This is the way, bro. Then no matter what happens in Babylon, it's just what happens in Babylon. Exactly. And you're always going to be set. That's right. Yeah. Because you figured out the way to take, I mean, a man knows how to take care of himself, first and foremost. Yeah. Right? With what is given. Fact, yeah. with what is given. So what does that mean at the most basic physical carnal level is how to house himself, how to clothe himself, yeah. how to feed himself? 
agriculture is the, is the foundation. Foundation, man. yeah. So um, this whole this whole journey and building structures, like, was that something that self taught? Homeboys. Uh, so I took a permaculture class. <laughs> um, that's just the white man's way of saying, yeah. you know, <laughs> what the indigenous men mm-hmm. have been doing for Seriously. millennia. But I took a class and they broke down how to build these structures and things like that. And so then it was just, you know, uh, YouTube University after that. Awesome. And then yeah. it's just trying it yourself. Awesome. All in Fullerton? If you go anywhere? Uh, Yeah, just Fullerton. Okay, word. Yeah. Okay. Shout out to Fully. My, yeah. my bro with the Cal State Fullerton is so I used to be in Fully all the time, man. Like 2008, 2009. It, it's a it's he was out there. It's cool. I was out there. Yeah, really. it's cool. It's cool. He was out there functioning, big functioning. <laughs> it's cool. Yeah, yeah. How did you? Um, I like Fully, man. It was Fullerton's dope. Fullerton was fun. Honestly, Fullerton. If I want to raise a family in the United States, Fullerton is solid. Where? Like, bro, their their main priority as a city is education. Definitely. So I've I was taught in sixth grade um, by an English teacher. The origins of Greek and Latin mm. and how Damn. that breaks down into words. Right. Yeah. And recently, I found out how powerful that is because going to Mexico and hearing how they speak, mm-hmm. you can pick up the Latin and understand. Oh, they're saying this. Mm-hmm. Yeah, facts. Yeah. And so, like that carries weight. Yeah. So I would want to stay in a place that you know they're really big on the education. So to this day, you still like know these like these foundations of like greek and roman or uh, greek and latin like words like if you hear it you can still pick up on it to this day yeah that's what's up so even hearing like uh arabic and hearing all these other languages mm-hmm. as long as you can pick up on these like prefixes or suffixes you're just like oh arabic comes from greek i don't know man. oh but you kind of you can still you can still you can kind of good question connect the dots enough to like communicate essentially or at least yeah. relatively interpret yeah, which I think it's actually closer to Latin because mm-hmm. if okay. I'm not mistaken, um, someone was telling me how a lot of Arabic words are actually very similar to, to Spanish. Wow. Yeah. That's interesting. Which their cultures are very similar yeah. no matter what. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, interesting. Huh. Yeah, when you um so when you're building these structures, how did you foray, I guess, into more um growing food and gardening from that to uh yeah what was that journey well my main thing's always been food okay i understand security so yeah. i lived in alaska um when i was like 18 yeah and i met some older couple how'd that happen dude yeah uh i have family in alaska and so like junior to senior year summer i went out and lived out there worked there's that guy. There's that guy. <laughs> <laughs> we had ratatouille, ratatouille heads head to the kitchen. Yeah, at the right same quick. time, man. man. Shout out to him. Shout uh, out. It's the same one, too. It's the one. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so I had family out there. I lived and I worked. And I was just like, after high school, I was like, yo, I don't want to go to college. Because education system's not the best. Uh-huh. <clears throat> I need to go learn more life experience. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. I need to test the life experience that my father passed on to me yeah. while raising me. So I went out there and did that for like a year and a half. Um, dope. Love In it. Alaska. Alaska. Bro, a lot of crazy ass. That shit's like the wild, wild west. I'm nah, sure, bro. bro for it's right. Alaska. Bro, yeah. that's uh, the last place fugitives go. Like, that's... Bro, it's, it's weird area. This nigga at 17 said I need to go be a man. I need to go be a I'm man. I'm going to go to Alaska. I'm going to go to Alaska, hey, the bro. last frontier. Shout out to him, man. I'm not going to go to college. I'm going to go to Alaska, bro. Yeah. That's real, man. That's real. And yeah. there, that's where I met the, the people, and I met the mindset of actually working when with the time that you have. Mm-hmm. If it's spring, hey, we're showing up spring. We're working on the house. We're bringing in all the money we can to get ready to basically hibernate. Yeah. Yeah. Because if you got cracked windows or you got a leaky pipe, like in the winter, the winter's gonna the winter's gonna show all your flaws. Yeah, yeah. So if you're not secure, then you're fucked. Yeah. No, facts. And so um this older couple, they grew their own food and I was just like, yo, this is the type of shit that 
you know, my generation does not know anymore. Mm -hmm. And so it was, I took it onto myself. Um, well, I also took a large amount of mushrooms up there. Understood. <laughs> okay. For the first time. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And that unlocked things in my DNA that I never knew. Mm -hmm. And basically it showed me my past. My grandfather's working the land. It showed yeah. me my connection with the land is actually greater than what I knew. Yeah. On uh, Before that. Yeah. And so. You are uh, you remember what they look like? Indigenous? You're, these, these specific uh, ancestors that you saw? In this realm of vision, it, it was more so like I just saw hands okay. digging in the soil. Understood. I can look up and I see fields. Where um, I had visions of me running through forests and knowing, like, grab here, jump here, dope, spin here, do this, do that, do this. Yeah, and it was just like I knew this way too well uh -huh. yeah. for it to be my first time running through these places. I feel you. This was the vision, or this was you. Off the off the the medicine you was doing this in the, in this realm or this was the this vision. Was, this was the vision. Oh, okay, for sure. Off the medicine. Okay, yeah. For okay, sure, understood for sure, for sure. Yeah, and so that just gave me the understanding of like, yo, this is my role. Mm -hmm. yeah, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. I have to come back and and show these things. And as I continue to go into the mountains and connect more with nature, it was just like, yo, this is it. Mm -hmm. Like this yeah. is my lane. Yeah, no, this is facts. No, and when I when I've seen you working, I see very much. Oh, this is this is his lane. Mm -hmm. That I, that's what I and I feel it feels so. You're you look like a natural. Definitely. Like, yeah, everything about you is natural, and I think that's why people gravitate for you because it seems like you're just an instantiation of of God of the universe, being like, okay, this is how things. This man has figured out what he wants. This is what it's gonna be. Yeah. This is what, this is what time it is right here. This one. This one is. This one has got it. Serving fruit. For real, serving life to the to the hood, serving life, masses, bro. Man. Nah, serving life. Yeah, facts. So, yeah, it was actually neat. Uh, real quick, my grandmother told me like a two years into this journey that uh, she confirmed my visions as in being like, oh yeah, like my grand, my Your mom's mom, right? My mom's mom. Yeah, she was from like, Jalisco, correct? From Jalisco, yes sir. Or no, she's from Sonora. Oh, where? Okay, that's so, in Mexico. Or, no, yes sir, Sinaloa. Sinaloa. So she's more on the coast. Okay, yes sir. And she was like, oh, my grandfather had 28 acres, and this is, like, where I come from. Wow. Yeah. And it was like, wait, what? Mm -hmm. Like, so yeah. I've been doing this, seeing the visions that I've seen, just understanding it within myself, my intuition, like, okay, this is me. Yeah. And now you're coming and telling me, like, no, actually, my ancestors have been doing this. They were selling fruit back DNA, then. DNA, man. It's wow. DNA. No, for real. No, it's for real. DNA, bro. For real. DNA is real. It's passed on. Yeah. 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 And um, he just told me, he showed me a picture of his father. Is that this week you show me your dad? Yeah. And like, no, he looks like the indigenous Asiatics from Mexico, bro. Like the Olmecs, like straight up. Straight up. Like same Big facial structure. Bones. Same facial structure, just like looks like a, like, um, what's the word? Like a, like made for, like cut from stone. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah, yeah, well, yeah. That's a good way. To no, for real. Yeah. Like he's coming from like just rock hard. It's like, oh, that's a god body, and I'm like, okay, damn. Your father, who on paper is African American, right? Yeah, yeah, born a black black American, whatever. But I see his features, and I'm like, okay, you look like an original Asiatic, but specific to the ones that there have been statues of in Mexico before Caucasians came over. So original Asiatic indigenous to the land of that area. The other side of your family is from that area in the land. So it's like, this is this is your home. This is your landmass. And you've been putting in work on this landmass through generations. That's what it feels like. Definitely. For real, right? Yeah. Yeah. That's what it is. That's what it is. Yeah, that's what it is. And now you're rising into rising into that understanding and tie, understanding who Jesus was and that you are you are that because you came into the awareness that Jesus is a type of human being. He's a type of man. He's a type of man. So and you know, it's supposedly started as a carpenter and became a spiritual leader, but ultimately he was he was just he was just a man and stood on the truth. Right, and people gravitated to him, similar to how they gravitate around your fruit table. Well, that's your, that's your, uh, what's the word? That's your, uh, not testimony. That's your uh, ministry, yeah. right? <laughs> For real, the good and the no, bad. it is. No, good that's your, is. that's your ministry, bro. Because I, I talk to a lot of people. No, hey, that's your ministry. You need to balance the foods you consume. You need to balance what you consume. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah. And it's not only food, it's everything has a vibration. Yeah. And, you know, I start going into the spiritual talk. Mm -hmm. No, for real. And it's like, and they're like, whoa. Whoa, I just was cutting <laughs> fruit to your bowl and now you're eating yeah, it man. and now you're feeling it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Facts, bro. And it's not your your spiritual talk is not packaged into a particular theology. It's just you, bro. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And that's what makes it so powerful is that, like, you can't put you in a box. You can't. Ken is just like, oh, this is all oh, this is Imani. He's about this is what time he's on. And so it's an and as you've seen and we've all seen, it's very natural for people to want to latch onto that, but also try to finesse that energy into their own shit, bro. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I've seen that quite <laughs> no, for real. And you're going to continue seeing it. And I'm just like, and I see, I see, I see what you're naturally good at. And I've just I'm starting to really just settle into my role. Like, bro, I'm a fucking administrator, bro. I know. I know how to set up the system, the structure, and then put things in place to make things thrive and flourish yeah you know what i'm saying just, i know his role i know his role is motivating campaigning organizing and what else bro like innovating yeah creative 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 innovation extracting the Ide highest ideation level. Yeah. yeah highest level of idea from the heavenly ethos and then capturing that energy and able to communicate it while it's hot yeah i take that and be like okay that's dope how do we make it real? How do we make it reality? You know, and how do we build the administrative structures to actually build a program to implement the essence of what you said? Yeah. Right. Visionary. That's what I do. I'm a, I'm a yeah. visionary. There I see go. things hey, in the future. Yeah, I see yeah. the future and I try yeah. to figure out how do we catch up to the future. Yeah. So a lot of things I say don't make sense until three, three years. And, and like, like I tell, like, and by the time we get to that third year, I'm already saying some other shit that don't make sense. And, and like so every time he says some, <laughs> every time he says, and I just have to get used to that. Every time he says, <laughs> every time he says ridiculous shit, and I, I my initial answer is like, oh, this motherfucker, I'm like, bruh, shut up. <laughs> I don't. Hey, it's no, more no, like, no, it's, no, 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 you, it's okay. It's like, it's like, it's okay. Shut, it's like, man, here he bro. goes again. But then month or two later, I'm like, oh shit, he was right. <laughs> <laughs> right, even like with with Chat GPT, I was I wasn't on hater mode. I was just like, man, sit down, bro. Like you, Rowes ain't fucking with you. Like, but I also uh, learned yeah, that's like, a part of being in agriculture and permaculture. It's yeah. like you you put seeds in the dirt, you don't, and you be like, all right, I got a jackfruit tree coming. You don't, you don't. Everybody not going to see that. You know, like it's a part of, like you said, the ministry. That's a part of my ministry. It's like I've done things to the point where people said I wasn't going to succeed at those things. And then by the time that people realize that I was succeeding at that thing, I'm already doing more things that you think I'm not going to succeed at. And then by the time that catches up, then so at this point now, I have so much body of work and such an extensive resume that not too many people are like, you crazy. Yeah, you know, like that, that energy isn't really present with my life anymore. I just like. People might not agree with what I, my vision, but nobody's like your vision is crazy no more because yeah. I've all, because look at what I've been able to accomplish, accomplish. with my yeah. and bring it crazy to, ass ideas and bring it to, <laughs> already bring it to physical reality, bro. Like a lot of things that people know me for was a at one time was a crazy idea. Do you know that? Oh, Timu does this and he does this and he does this and we know about this. It took a crazy ass idea that I had to actually go through the process of implementing for it to be like, oh, that's just what he, we know him for this. And like even doing kale salads in the hood. I know people who didn't eat kale, bro. You know, even doing a plant-based catering company in the hood, even taking over a community garden, even traveling to Hawaii, even writing books. A lot of things that, working with the state, working with the CDFA, all these, a lot of things we did is just, you know, even, you know, getting access and state resources and things of that nature. So I just learned to embrace it, man. And then people like you just keep giving you game, bro. Keep being like, you know, learn from me, learn from my mistakes, learn from my successes and any resource I have, you have access to it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And the thing, what we all have, the beautiful thing about what we got right now just at this table is like, we all have our own ministry. Definitely. You feel me? And it's like, they're similar enough to where we have cohesion, but there's also like, we all have a very clear and distinct lane. Right. And within that lane is our own specific is our own specific um, ministry. A, a temple can have multiple ministries and it, it should. It yeah. shouldn't. A kingdom it, it needs must. multiple functions. Exactly. Yeah. And it's like I'm like, damn, like and even just our foray this weekend at Sunday. I'm like, I felt it. It literally felt 
it felt like the Garden of Eden. It felt like heaven. Like we we was all in pocket, like with the drum circle, and then us him cutting fruit, me standing back at the table, you at your uh, campaign spoon, mm-hmm. at your campaign booth. Mm-hmm. I was like, oh shit. And then watching people flow in, like and literally gravitate, like like fly to a fly trap and like not want to leave. I'm like, oh okay, damn. <laughs> this is just shout this- out to that lady who bought four plants from you. I mean, really? Oh yeah. No, yeah, bro. Did you see what? Hold on, I'm gonna put him on blast. Did you see what he like? I didn't on. do it. That was foolish. It wasn't foolish. Foolish. Did you? You? You were probably too busy working. No, it wasn't. No, foolish. no, no. I'm gonna put him on blast, bro. It's, so you, I was being nice. That's my point. You were being. You, I was being nice. You were playing the game. No, I was. I was. You were being, not playing the game. I was. You're being, being honest. No, I actually was being nice. She did. That was my point. So, so like um, I, I, like I really was being I, nice. I feel you, bro. I feel <laughs> objectively. I feel you. She did not. She shouldn't have been asking that question. She should. Don't ask me that damn question. She. What was she asked? How old? How old do I look? And she. Oh, yeah, bro. It was, it's it, first of all, that's always a trap coming from a female. Always. Always. And always I, a trap. I said, I don't want to answer this question. And he said, she said I, no to I, answer. I said, I don't, I always mess up <laughs> and I always make a, I always do this bad. Fact. I don't want to answer this question. I never answer right. She mm-hmm. said, oh, just guess. I said, 60. <laughs> I don't think she, she got mad. That's never a good answer for any age, no said, matter what. She said, that's too high to she, guess. My you mom, don't guess higher than like my 45, mom is bro. 60. My mom is, I if I you, said bro. my mom looked like a 60 year old person, she's not going to be like, ah. How dare you? Eh. Right? Like, right. if you're, you look like a lady, you look like a, I'm not, I'm not 19. I'm 34. Yeah. Older people look like older people. She to looks me. six. She looks 60. She bro. looks 60. She looks 60. All respect but to her. She looks 60. She, she looks, looks 60, 60, bro. That's 60, what I'm like, bro. what are you, you were, doing? Yeah. Leave me alone. But I, I knew from the jump that she wanted to be flattered. I'm not, that's I, what, I literally I said, that. don't do it. I understand. I'm not the one and to you, flatter you. I understand. And I understand. You know, I'm not, and first of all, I'm not judging. <laughs> I'm just letting you know, like, what I witnessed. And I'm like, I was like, in my mind, I was like, this nigga finna be honest as fuck. Oh, Oh shit! Here we go. She Here like, we go. It's like you're not a good salesman. I'm like I'm not trying to sell you. And I was like, and I was like, yeah, he's not. I agree with you, sister. Please continue to buy my plants. <laughs> Jesus Christ! Thanks, man. <laughs> Thanks, team. Nah, because I'm like, w- like, what are you trying to? To it's like like thinking like how how old are we, man? Are you are you? She was. This is something like a, it was a chi- it was four year old question. It was childish. Like a, this she was is a seventeen year old she question. Fishing. She was childish and she was also flirty and I don't all got that. It. She was like trying to play like the I'm I'm still young and cute and flirty and she was in our she was captured in our energy and I'm like you just like you shut it you shut down her dream. Bro. I don't got it in me, it was, bro. I don't she got shut, it in me. She shut it down. He shut it down. So I got hey we got there got to we got to have boundaries, man. I understand, bro. I can't just be I can't be in everybody grandma face. I'm not being in nobody mama face. Kiki. We, we need co Yeah, for real. Adam. Yeah, yeah, Adam. Song. I, understand. I understand. Yeah. Money, slide in this one. Yeah. No, seriously. No, nah, for real. Yeah. So it, that was funny. Like it I'm was not funny. and I, I wasn't <laughs> it was really funny actually. I didn't think she was gonna really be upset. <laughs> but she was really she was like, really she, like she was butthurt. She was she was butthurt. So how old was she? She was, she was she 60. Was, she said, no, she said she was like 55. Oh, oh fuck. <laughs> Right, like I overshot, like she he overshot. It flipped on her. Yeah. but like you always just say forty five. That's yeah. not that. Seriously, that's the rule. That's the rule. It's like you don't. That's my point. 45. I thought she was like 70, 80. I'm gonna keep. That's my point. I was being nice. She, she did look rough. I thought she was like 65, 70. I was trying to show her some love. Yeah, bro. <laughs> that was the point. That's all. Like leave me alone, cause I was already. I'm literally trying to be nice. I thought she was seventy. I'm gonna keep it a stack with you. <laughs> <laughs> and I was shooting for low for the 60. Yeah. Yeah, man. So it's just, she had no, she was not, she had no grasp of re, like reality. She like, she thought she, she, pro, she thought she looked 49. Hey, but shout out to her though. Shout out to her. If she here, this, shout out to her. you. She bought four plants. Shout out to you. And I, the gave her, I gave her a discount. I learned my lesson. Next yeah. time I'm just going to just 40, not get, answer the question. Not at a cancer or 35. 40. No, I'm just not. No, just I'm, just, I'm not. I'm tired. I'm tired of these, play of these silly games. <laughs> I'm just going to not answer the question and stand on that. <laughs> I'm tired, bro. I got way too much to be worried about. You feel yeah, me? Yeah. We in these spaces. I understand. Yeah. <laughs> that yeah, that was a that that's where you slide one of those like, hey yo, try this roller. Yeah, for real. You, you put on the roller and then you'd be like, You smell like you 35. Yes. Yeah. Hey, hey. And then it's it's flipped. Like, oh, yeah. he just said I was 35. There we go. Yeah. And I said you smelled like you were 35. Yeah, hey, hey, hey. That's you know, that's actually that's a game right there. That's bro. normal. That, that's you game. Do it. You, no, you that's game, bro. Fruit. That's game, man. And there's nothing <laughs> there's nothing wrong. Like the thing is you have to as a as a business person, as a per- you have to be able to handle situations like you know, I'm not. And yeah, no, objectively, definitely. I'm not. First and foremost, I'm not judging you. I'm not being very clear. Like this is not something. Where could I'm I like, have? Could I have? 
it drastically under. Yeah, I could have. You could. I could have. You could have. But my point was I already said I don't want. Like my point was I already communicating my bound. I'm learning to communicate yeah. my boundaries, and then you're gonna get what come from. If you like, if I say I don't want to do something, and you force me to do, or you try to, all right, you gonna then this is what you wanted. Like to me, it's like this. Like I'm, I get it, but it's like. I get it, bro. I, Okay. What am I okay. supposed to do? What am I doing? I'm here. I'm, what am I supposed to do right now? I think the lesson. Leave me alone. Do, I mean, if your initial instinct was like not answer the question, just don't answer. The question. Uh, that's what I said. Let's learn. Right. Just don't answer the question. Don't walk away. Question. Yeah. Go with your first impulse. Just walk away. Go. You know what? I need to go. Guess. Yeah. I'll be right. I'll be right. Back. <laughs> I'll be right back. Actually, I'm, I got you when I come back. Yeah. Yeah. And that's it. And then that way, you know, you just, just we don't. Gonna yeah. You, you, we're gonna be outside. You, you gonna be back outside again. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> You're going to be out of and everything again. So <laughs> I got to learn how to no, no, talk no. to old black women again. Fe- yes. Yes, we do. Shout out to them. No. I respect her. Yeah. But that's me. I'll come from more like, I, from honestly, I'd rather, I've learned, I, I would rather you don't like me than you think I like you. Hmm, explain that. I'd rather you think I'm an asshole than you think I'm trying to get at you. I think I get it. Or you think I'm trying to flirt with you. you. I feel you. Because it's it's less energy dragged. Like, there's less of an energy trail. If they think that you like them, then they're going to constantly pull or come around. And now that energy is going to linger more often. Yeah. Rather than, hey, yo, think of me as an asshole. I'll be straight, direct. If you want something, hey, I'll, I'll be direct with it. But anything after that, you gotta you basically keep your flow going. I mean, you you heard what you know. We ain't gotta talk about it too much. But somebody said that that they think that you got a crush on their mom or something like that. Maybe you heard you heard that like, <laughs> yeah. and you was like, nah, really like, and it's like, nah, people will really go around in their head and be like, oh, <laughs> he got a crush on me. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, and it's yeah, like, yeah. what are you talking about? <laughs> that was funny. It was funny. <laughs> it's was funny, fun. but that was funny. it's funny. But I've seen how. Yeah. I've seen how that could go left really fast. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right, yeah. <laughs> right. As opposed to like, oh man, he's he's kind of like mean, or he's just he's just like you say, he's just direct. Yeah. And then to be like, that's it. Oh, he's direct. I don't really. When I engage with him, I know to be direct. Like I, that's me. I've had to learn because I've been told I'm too charismatic at times. So I do. I pick and choose. You know. Sometimes I'm like, actually, I just want to. I don't want no charisma, and sometimes. Like you said, like like you know, we we put we put the sprinkle on it. I put sprinkle. some I put some the sauce sprinkle. on it. Yeah. I yeah. Put, oh, but you say the coconut. I come with the coconut water to open up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. And it, that's that's part of business, bro. Yeah. That's part of business is actually like knowing just like end of the day, like you know, there's something too. The customer is always right. It's Definitely. Like there's, not, there's nothing wrong with sprinkling. And I think your your response to the best one is like, oh, you smell like you're 35, and that way, like it's just she's happy. You're yeah. not lying. There's no cap. I have my. I and have then, my time in, in, my, in my in my place, bro. Yeah. You know that's my that was one that was one of those times where I was like, nope. <laughs> and I get it in the context of like she's a she was like a good customer. Yeah, I, I definitely could have sprinkled. Yeah, you could have. But I, mean, <laughs> I don't want to get it too much. I know, I know, but it was <laughs> it was it was, funny. it was funny, bro. It was so funny. It, it was worth it just for her just for her reaction alone. She was because she was like taking it back. She's like. Oh damn! You did fuck up. Yeah, <laughs> yeah she was like, she, she was, was buttered. Like, damn. Yeah, yeah. And I was like, <laughs> sorry. I, yeah, like yeah, I'm, nah. I'm, I'm sorry, not sorry. Yeah. You know, I'm not gonna be, yeah. ass, I'm not going to be an asshole about this now. But I'm actually not sorry because I was being, I was being nice. Yeah. That was my point. Yeah, like, it's honest. deeper. It, it's layers because, like, <laughs> like you said, the layers of like I actually was <laughs> being under. And my mom, like you said, yeah. like I'm actually trying to be. Oh, let me get for a couple of years. Yeah, you <laughs> feel me? Let me let me yeah. sh- let yeah, me I let understand. me show sure, let me show some love. Yeah. And then it flipped on his head. Yeah. So then it's like, what am I supposed to do? Yeah, man. Just but like, I mean, hey man, yeah. shout out, shout no, out no, to just shout like, out to these people. Yeah. Uh, so I'm just thinking, like, <laughs> the 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 ministry of Jesus is and like what, since I'm already thinking administratively, like what is where we're going. What does that actually look like? And him and I had a conversation after you left on Sunday. Is um, you know where where we're going? We're like we're we're on a way to just provide an infrastructure for men to become themselves and rebuild themselves and actually become like 
Lord to God, to actually become that. What does that actually mean to become Jesus, mm -hmm. right? That's the manufacturing process, right? Mm -hmm. And we all are bringing different avenues towards that. But when, when I... I'm putting together because I've always known that you didn't go, the, you did not do the traditional thing at all. You didn't do the traditional thing, high school, go to four years of college, internship, like that route. No, you said, fuck that, I'm going to Alaska. Mm -hmm. yeah. So I'm like, huh, we know that college more or less is mostly bullshit. No, there's some merit to it, mostly mm -hmm. bullshit. So I'm just like, mostly bullshit. Our, A mostly, lot of debt. Yeah, debt and bullshit. Debt. Yeah, no, for real. <laughs> but debt and cap, debt it, and lies. It trains you to be able to get done paperwork stuff. Fact that's it. one. That's one thing I do regret. It's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I never took you know writing essays seriously or this or yeah. that. <clears throat> so now it's like, I'm really good in the field. Yeah, I'm yeah, really good with people and conducting myself and just being me. But when it comes now to the administrative stuff, it's yeah. like, yo, this is hard. Yo, I gotta yeah. reply to everyone. I feel no, you, bro. No, no, no gotta, yeah. That, no, I'm with you. Bro. I'm, share, I'm, I'm, share I'm that. I'm with you, bro. Share that apprehension. <laughs> And it's like, but bro, that's I got to respond to all these emails you know? every day. Yeah, bro. yeah, you do. Yeah, you better. Yeah, you do. You fuck with me. She. Yes, we got to respond to all these emails every yeah, day. Yeah, man. For real. Yeah, that's we got to attend these Zoom meetings. That's yeah, the we expectation. Set a calendar. Yeah, that's the expectation. So my mind is like, I, you know, that makes me, and he's been on my ass about it. I really have to step into my role. I can't like pretend my role is not a role. Like I was trained in this. So I had, it's my, it's, I have to do my job. <laughs> Do our do my job not just for my shit, but for all of our collective shit. But also like train you niggas, like train, yeah. like give you, give you, but not train you to a point where you can still stay in pocket and do what you do best. So give you enough training to where this is what you got to do to to just stabilize your position so you could thrive in your lane. But um, yeah. but but not make you like a full functioning, one hundred percent administrator. You no, know what I'm saying? We'll never, we'll never, never be, be a full there. functioning yeah. administrator. Yeah. So I, it's my job to just assess. No, and that's no no corporation has a, a like in any business no. you have the ideas person mm -hmm. and then you have the the ops person. Yeah. And then you have the administrator administrator person. Yeah. You nice. know what I'm saying? Any, any any to make a business succeed. Yeah. It can't be three CEOs. No, it can't no, be no, three no. CFOs. Hell it hell can't no. be three CEOs. No, 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 no. no. Right? It has to be somebody who just come up with random ass ideas and then somebody who says, uh, actually no, or actually yeah. And then somebody said, Okay, how does this how do we turn how does this apply to the actual the people here? Yeah. How do we actually turn this and institutionalize these random ass cool ass ideas? Yeah, yeah, Cause, yeah. Because like I could get lost in my cool ass ideas yeah. and I know that yeah. I can yeah, I can keep coming up with more ideas yeah. and keep being like ooh what about this cool ass idea ooh what about this cool ass idea and then a week later I got three more cool ass ideas and then a week later I got three more cool and ass then, ideas but then nothing gets done then, yeah yeah you just you just got high in your own supply yeah yeah right? yeah, yeah. And, and and me too like I get contact highs like oh fuck that that that, that is a good idea that no, is a I good agree. idea so I'm always and I'm I getting... definitely got a lot more done when you was like stop trying to do everything Mm, yeah, yeah, that's not that's not your lane. Or you was like, nigga, we'll focus on these administrative things too. Like, nah, yeah, you got, yeah, that's cool. But like, you can't respond to emails, nigga. So nobody gonna take you serious. Facts, no, for real. And nobody took me. You know I mean, it was respect. It was facts. No, for real, man. Like, you have to be like responsive. And if you, we all talk about having being billionaires and millionaires. I'm like, bro, like, nigga, you can't rise to that level without being responsive to your customers and stakeholders. You know. Like no, you're like that's not that's not an option. Like, I mean, you can't skip that part. Yeah, and fortunately for me, no. like when I was when I really first joined the the BIPOC advisory committee, and I saw to the California Department of Food, to and the California Department of Food and Agriculture, yes sir, to the Equity Office, yes sir, of the California Department of Food and Agriculture, and yes, I saw the proposed state budget, and I saw like where so much money is being distribu distributed, and that ultimately. I have nothing in place <laughs> to access. Yeah, this hundred billion dollar pool of money proposal. Yeah, and I there's nothing I could do about it. Yeah, you know yeah. I can help to develop it and help put things in place, but like nothing formal to plug in. Yeah, and it was like it was a, it was a crazy you know juxtaposition. Yeah, because yeah, because you can't give a million dollars to a dope idea. Yeah, spout it out on a podcast. And I'll come back and tell everybody, and it's like <laughs> people are like, okay, 
and nigga. No, for real. Yeah, no, this it's this real. Is true. <laughs> no, and it's like sure, nigga. Yeah. <laughs> Sure. Yeah, because you got to realize, it's like <laughs> this this world that we're talking about, this world of resources, it's it's not, it's it's kept far away from yeah. the culture. No, you know I understand. Saying? It's like it's like because we could be like, but FYI, there's all this money available in the CDFA, and it's be like, cool. Yeah, what's cool. that got to What's that got to do with me? Yeah, right. And that's yeah, a re- and that's a real that's a real response. It's like that ain't that ain't me. That's them. And I can't be, you know, high and mighty. I can't be. No, 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 no. Um, condescending because. This institutions have thrived on racism and they have thrived on keeping us Exclu- in, and keeping us away from information. exclusionary tactics. Yeah, right? it's like they want to make you think that like government is them. Yeah, and I'm like no, bro. It's it's your it's your. So your, I can't. I couldn't you even access. It's your birth. It's your yours. Yeah, I couldn't even be like. I couldn't even wave no finger at niggas because it was like once again, like I'm here in the same situation, which is. Nothing in place. Nothing in place to to access this. Just yeah. here to have, give advice and here to advise. Yeah. And then I and then it kind of hit me like, you know, the light bulb of like, the advising is the formal business. The access where, to the that's information where it starts. That's where it starts. That's where it starts. Where it starts. starts. Where it starts bro. Yeah. Just formalizing. Yeah. What, what is it that we do? Yeah. Okay. Let's just formalize that, and then we can start putting things in place, and fine tuning that. And structuring it, and then nice. Adam Wiggles got to turn. Yeah, exactly. websites and this. And yeah, it, 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 exactly. Whatever, so that and, that and that, <laughs> <laughs> sure, they just do it. Yep, and that's where you know the the I the this would be a good idea turns into all right. How do we set up the administrative bodies to make shit happen? What are mm-hmm. the requirements? What are the steps we got to go through to make it happen, bro? Yeah, and it's like that's just it's it, it just requires a, a disciplined way of thinking. And I'm not gonna say nothing because me and my bros we did create our own, own nonprofit. I'm definitely not gonna uh, belittle the work that my bro Ty d- has done with being the president of Holistic Divine Innovations. But just at that time, our 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 mindset wasn't on like access and state resources, you know. So it was more like I don't even if we do have different you know, formal bodies in place at that time, it wasn't nothing I could directly connect to these resources. Now, definitely, like, our nonprofit, we tapped in with RCD, we tapped in with the city of Resource Adamsburg. Conversation District, a resource, con- what's that stand for? You can't just spout off acronyms. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. Yeah, um, you, gotta, <laughs> you gotta clear it up. <laughs> um, RCD, that's a... Regional okay. Conservation District. Okay, that's a regional? Yeah, 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 yeah. So that's like different aspects of California. So I mean, even at starting to learn, and and it's so crazy because now that I like learn, knowing so much of this stuff, and I could just be to me, it's normal to just be like RCD, NRCS, no, USDA, normal. CDFA, yeah. Resource yabba, yabba, yabba. Conservation District. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, but this came with i'm gonna read this definition Uh, what are resource conservation districts public resources code division nine established resource conservation districts rcds to conserve soil and water control runoff prevent and control soil erosion manage watersheds protect water quality and develop water storage and distribution they help you with land but you got to own the land you don't own land then you can't really work with them yeah, and the reason why, like, I'm I'm on and about like defining terms in this world because we our objective is to make this world bring it to our people. So if we just if we're just using all this lingo that regular people don't know, like, it it keeps the information over here. Yeah. Facts. So what what function is a bridge if there's no if there's no road between the two pillars, whatever the the two towers are. You know what I'm saying? It's like, no, you actually have to bridge this information. Here's the definition of resource conservation district, et cetera. And then also get people to realize is like this, these sort of like administrative bodies, this is the type of things you need to be thinking about if you actually want to run shit. You know what I'm saying? Administration, all of this quote unquote boring stuff that people don't, that people who say F the government don't think about. But I'm like, okay, well, what are you going to do how you going to how you gonna run whatever thing you have without some semblance of order, man? So yeah, to whatever capacity, there has to be administration and organization in place. Yeah, yeah. we're not like we're civilized beings. You know what I'm saying? No, like yeah, no, we are. We're not anarchists. We're not animals. You know what I'm saying? Like we are human beings. 
there has to be some sense of bureaucracy, some sense of structure, some sense of accountability, some sense of a, of a society. That's right. To what to whatever capacity. Yeah. You know, there won't there there will never be pure art anarchy. No, no, because you, you, there just has to be. A, There's already too many systems in place to stop that from happening. Right, wrong, or indifferent. I don't think there's ever been pure animals. <laughs> nah, I mean, they try to make it seem like the Native Americans were, like, they had no system. No, but yeah. And they had councils. They had, they had councils. Yeah. They literally had e- an economy. Definitely. Yeah, man. They were shipping stuff from California to the East Coast. Definitely. Like, yeah. So you got to think, like, the function of governance and count, like, all of that is just one side is just distributing resources and then applying justice. That's right? all serious. Yeah, that's it. That's it. That's it's, all it's serious. That simple. That's that what is a function a king. of government. So it's like, why would you not want a society that doesn't have these, these, um, these, these energies and effective force? Am I like for me? Like right. I, I, I do understand because our institutions have practiced so much racism, and there's so much racism embedded in these institutions. So I do like I understand the sentiment of having so much frustration with our governing bodies that we don't want to engage with them because there's already so much racism and engaging with them in the past hasn't resulted in what we want, right? So I understand it, but I also understand and overstand that won't fix it. Not engaging with these institutions won't redirect the money. It won't change anything. It'll just make you not have access to the resources no, that you already that, didn't have it. access to in the first that's place. It. Yeah, that's it. You and, know? And that <laughs> and that's not gonna help you change your condition. You As opposed to the like... slow build, the slow moving the needle, engaging in the system, engaging in it, understanding it, navigating it, putting things in place, aligning, advocating, engaging in the whole process and accepting what the process is and doing the best you can to make the small change to move the meter so that way more people can come in and make another small change yeah. to move the meter. While at the same time you have got your own autonomous projects going. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, so by no means would I advocate fully putting your energy into a crumbling infrastructure. You know what I'm saying? That's not what I'm saying. I'm not, I'm saying, no, no. Take advantage of what's available and have your own projects and stuff going on so that way when quote unquote Rome falls, you've already have enough, you've already taken enough from a crumbling empire to support your own that when it quote, when it falls over a period of time, yours has been enough set up to a point where you're good. You could take care of yourself and then start building over there. So that's that's the move. And it's not what we tell people, like Rome wasn't built in a day. Rome's not going to fall in a day. It's a, a gradual deterioration over time. So what are you going to do? Like, like we talked about earlier, like the falling of the U.S. dollar, crumbling of the dollar, um, I, all the other things take into effect, crumbling. So what are you doing to offset that over here while living in the reality that – you know, people still accept U.S. dollar for currency, and it's still fu- and it's still functional and works. So, and to add to that, like that's such a bar too, because understanding our political infrastructure, even if America falls, we act like we can't go somewhere else with the understanding of political infrastructure Absolutely. and apply the not like I just seen our our last mayor. He's like Garcetti. Yeah, he's like some. He's the ambassador to India. Yeah, bro. Yeah, what? Yes. Yeah. How? I don't know. Right. Uh, but like, because I mean, because Biden put him on. I mean, that, that's it. Yeah, I'm, yeah. Ju- I'm, ju- I'm just saying like the, these skill sets. Yeah. You oh. don't you don't just because like you don't get the skill set and then be like, oh, well, I can't apply it. Nothing. They can be applied to their transfer. To, yes. Absolutely. They're transferable skill sets to the whole world. Yeah. Learning how to run things is learning how to run things, learning bureaucracy and infrastructure and democracy mm. <laughs> can be applied to the rest of the world. Like this is democracy. How is is it a flawed racist system? Yes. But is it is it skill sets that aren't valuable? No. 
But learning how to govern. Learning how to govern is valuable. Learning how to administer is valuable. It's valuable. Learning how to be a leader is a valuable skill set that can't be, you can't underestimate that. For me, it's it's much, much bigger than just, like I said, our, our political infrastructure is about, like, running the world. I want to be a part. If if I'm not a part of the people running the world, I want to be a part of the people who are like. I want to be at the table. I want to be in the room. That's how. Like that's me, and I'm okay with that. Like I want to be one of the ones who like. When it's all said and done, who are the top hundred people we need in this room? Yeah. Nigga, call. Please, somebody call Tamu Asir Martin, baby. I don't know where he at, but somebody call that nigga and tell him he gotta come in this room. Yeah, the whole world is it's shut happening. down. What's happening? I don't want to be happening? one of them niggas. What's happening? Yeah, I don't mind saying it. I don't mind looking at people like, yes, and once again, crazy ass ideas. I'm okay with these crazy ass ideas. Sound like crazy ass ideas until they not until, crazy until, ass ideas until no it starts happening. Yeah. until you start rising into higher and higher levels, and all of a sudden, all the and all the king is is someone who's been trusted enough to administer a large scale of resources to. Uh, a populace of people. Yeah, and it, it's not just about yeah. the vanity and the ego of me being in a room, but of actually being able to make sure these resources, information, these access is pipeline back to my people, my culture, my community, my family, my niggas, my, my predecessors, my apprentices. You feel me? Like, it's not just me being... If, if we don't have somebody who look like us, talk like us, think like us, move like us, who understands how to navigate in here, in these rooms, then they're not going to be thinking about us. And I've seen how being in these rooms and saying two, three things, that stuff is a part of policy. That yeah. stuff is a part of grants now. Yeah. Just coming just coming with, well, hey, this is what I represent. Even it was, I was having, I was on a call with, um, the lady who is going to be uh, administering the first ur- ever urban agricultural grant program. And I was just talking about, you know, communications and outreach and how we need to really understand and put put resources in place for outreach. And she was like, wow, like, I never thought about that, you know, like, thank you. And it's just like, that's what I'll be trying to do. Like, it's not just some people look at me and trying to access power just for the sake of vanity, just for the sake of look me. No, it's for the sake of understanding that we need to be in these rooms. And if nobody else wants to be in these rooms to have these conversations and to drop these these ideas, I'll do it. I'll be in these rooms and represent Compton, represent LA, and represent yeah. hood niggas, Remember and represent the, nah, represent the culture, the, the culture, nah, for real. and make sure that our voices are heard and we actually put things in place and we actually have access to the information because like I said, the information has been so, that is one of the strongest weapons of racism is hoarding information and creating committees and creating people who help to insulate the information and then keeping everybody out. So while I'm in these rooms, I do see my purpose is to ensure that we create something to where the information is available to the general public and available to our people. Now, working on how do we communicate that, but ultimately it's like the information is, with the information, with knowing, okay, example, they're going to create an urban agricultural program. Okay, now we can be a part of the stakeholder meeting, which helps to shape the way the urban agriculture grant program looks. And then now we can be a part of creating the projects that apply for the urban agriculture grant program based upon the criteria we already developed of how the urban agriculture grant program looks. Do you know? Like, yeah. that's the purpose of being in the room, not just, oh, look at me in the room. It's like, no, like, this is really actively happening. You know what I'm saying? No, and what, what, what I've, you know, what I've realized is like, you know, being in these rooms gives you the most, um, using the resources available gives you the most power to change the condition of your people and what better way to serve your to serve your community than actually develop to channel resources to change the condition of your people that's right? it that's and literally like, it and that's what that's, that's why listen, if you look at our common our, our common connection is like we, we legitimately care about our community definitely we're like okay there's a problem 
Um, I'm not going to go with the flow, and I'm going to actually do something about it. <laughs> and all of us have taken direct steps in doing something about it, which is why we're at this table right now, right? Yeah, absolutely. Period. You know, we're all we've all taken our conscious steps to go against the grain to put things in place and l- ignore the naysayers which, to, which is jesus that facts no for real niggas wasn't fucking with jesus at all people acting like everybody he it was, was not literally uh, murdered and assassinated they killed him from the most religious people <laughs> <laughs> yeah facts facts bro for literally real. bro for real. Bro, from, like from literally, yeah, from the most religious people, so-called religion. They 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 front like they were the religion. most. Re- they were the most religious people. Yeah, I'm not saying that. You know, I'm not saying. I'm just saying that's I the feel, con. That's the context of what story. That's the story. That's I'm not story. saying. Yeah, for me, that's what the story says. He's murdered. He was. He not, was. That I say. They he said, "Give us the wild, random, wild nigga." Yeah. Instead, and clip this nigga who is. "Quote unquote blasphemous and quote unquote doing th- speaking I, truth." And mind you, I get it. He was pushing the internet tree, walking around healing niggas and going. He doing we doing all kind of shit. That niggas like, whoa, bro, chill. And, and he's saying, you "Got chill with that." He got bars every day. <laughs> he got so many bars. He healing people. Yeah, he got a crowd of people walking with him. <laughs> bro, on, what? With bro, what you, and then bro like, talking. I'm, doing, the, I'm bro? the son of God. You got to go through God to get through me. Bro, doing what bro walking in the water. That's that, that's what the the Roman translation. Hey what man, he says. listen, you know, it shot to Paul. No, no, that's Paul. That's, yeah, that's Paul. I, you so, know, I, I definitely. I, I, I like really don't be think more that, than, than I don't think I don't think Jesus really was out here being like, listen, the only way to God is through me, bro. I, like I said, I don't think he actually said that. No, I think because, and I'll be very clear. That's that's kind of like that's the Christian theology that tells you, listen, Christianity is literally the only way to God. You got to come fuck with us. You got to fuck through our interpretation of. Jesus. Oh, by the way, the nigga white. I I interpret it you know from the context of the middle nature, which is Go this on. is this yeah. is symbolism. Like the only way to us to God is through me. Like through modeling, like you said, looking at it objectively oh, and then modeling you. your life after the character. Ah, the, uh, developing no. these habits, okay. Facts. developing this Facts. mindset, developing your personal relationship, looking at your life like ah, I am the son of the the infinite creator and I'm the I physical agree. embodiment I agree. of the creator I in agree. the flesh and I have to go through the trials I have to go through everything I, and I have to accept that at the end of the day I'm going to die by the people oh, who are close to me which is a, it's a story of Osir he's literally saying oh yes you're right I am the the man of nature Haru, Osir, Osa, et etc etc cetera, et cetera. I have to do this story and that's the only way we can ascend boom I agree you feel me is doing the story. Nah. There's no way around the story. Nah, facts. No nah, facts. There's no way around. So, if you want to be king, you want to be God body. You gotta, you gotta accept. This is what it the, is. The process. You this gotta, is the process. No, the process. It's the only way to go. It's the process. The path. There's no, you know, there's no shortcuts. No, it actually, comes no shortcuts. There's no shortcuts. Like this is the path. And at any moment, this shit could all be over. That's right. Facts. And you gotta live with it. That's that's what it is. And you come back and try again. Yeah. Yeah. I um. But another thing uh, this weekend. Or you resurrect and you and you and you ascend to the to the heavens. Yes, sir. But this after after you left on Sunday, another thing I thought that came to my mind was on top of like what what I see us doing all together is just giving giving men the infrastructure to become become that God body, but also like providing a viable alternative to the Roman standard of going to college for four years and getting in debt and be mm-hmm. like, okay, instead of doing that, and I'm just like hashing it out, instead of doing that, come fuck with us. We got a job for you. We got real training and we got like a pathway to being self-sufficient, to building your own shit, having land. You know what I mean? Yeah. That, like a sort of like a rite of passage after, you know, when you begin, a, it's a, is it a rite of passage? Shit. That, Definitely. We need that. No, is it a rite of, is, it, is that just yeah. a rite of passage? Yeah. Fuck. Yeah. I mean, that's as simple as that. I think we're, no, you become a man. Oh, you want to be a man? Like, don't do don't do as the Romans. Come over here. We actually have systems and things in place that we developed and used using Roman currency and Roman projects in the the Roman Empire. But while it still works, here, come over here and to our we'll develop you and actually provide a pathway to becoming a self sufficient man. What did Jesus say? Give Give, give Caesar's what Caesar's, man. Yeah. For and no understanding. You, you only give him what's his. For real. That's it. If, That's it. Okay, you need these LLCs and these Wooty Wops to so, All right, cool. Here. Yeah. Here you go. Now we can do God body stuff. <laughs> yeah. Cool. Yeah. Whatever. All right, like, it's just... 
that's how America worked. Not for real. Which is like, put these formal things in place to insulate yourself. And it's literally a limited liability. For real. That's what it's for. That's right. When you don't have a limited liability corporation, then you take all the liability. That's right. That's right. Right. If you don't have a doing business as, then you are not doing business That's right. as. You're not doing business. Yeah. If you do not have a charity or a, a foundation or a something like they they have actual functions. That's right. And I think what we're also doing is in real time showing people how to move more formal. Nah, for real. In in real time too. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like how do you turn these cool ideas and this innovation and these this wild wild west mentality into it's cowboy no, navigating cowboy how to operate in America. No. Nah. It's cowboy. Yeah, no, f- for real. And I never. Why we live here? Because no. we live here. We live here. Like if you're gonna live, if you're gonna live here, we're gonna we gotta live here. You gotta you gotta do you gotta render to Caesars. What does Caesars? Give Caesar's and I never, or he gonna take or he gonna take more than what's his. That's facts. Facts. I'm single with no children and I'm married. That nigga be taking a lot. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> mm-hmm. I never heard. Right. I never heard yeah. render to Caesars. What is Caesars outside of the context of just paying tax? I never actually interpreted that to mean like. Just do what you got to do to comply with the Roman custom and rituals. While we're here. You know, while we're yeah. here. And I never took that to actually to include like, oh, just, okay, we'll, we'll play the LLC and corporation, Sherrod. Just as a, it, all it is, it's just a, it's a vehicle by which we conduct our activity. Yes. You know, that's, that's, a, it. that's all it is. That's These are just is. vehicles. Yeah, These are just vehicles. things that are put in place to understand the way the American economy runs. Yeah. Because eventually we take these LLCs and go public. And yeah. now they are part of the American, they're part of the American economy itself. Yeah. Eventually we can take these things and buy, you know, 30 year notes, 20 year, we can buy bonds. Now we have access to the American economy. Like we can actually, American economy is bigger than just like us. You know what I'm saying? When you take a company public, the whole world has, can put in resources into building your business up. Sure. Yeah. The foundation of the stock market is commodities. They're, the whole world still invests into our commodities, bro. And our commodities is deep. It's not just water and milk and bread and corn. We're talking gold, copper. Yeah. We're talking, I mean, I don't know how much we, you know, we really understand how many bonds come from commodities. Yeah. And just how this is our this is how it works you know like we can put we can have bonds too you know <laughs> we can have yeah. public traded companies as well yeah you know and that's how you that's america like that's business like we can't not wanting to engage in business and not doing business is such a like we're doing ourselves a disservice at a very very it's a major level of no, the disservice we're doing as Americans. It's a childish psychology. Yeah. Not for real. Like you, it's, just, it's what it is. It's what it is. Yeah. And also, we also had this, like, cognition today in our meeting this morning is that, you know, we're, we're, using, we're using these vehicles, LLCs, corporations now, we podcasts now. Um, we don't know what's, what these entities that we're using now are going to evolve into. You know, we may have we may have our idea of them right now. It's like, okay, well, we got to be like a grocery store and like we'll be whoop de wop But we don't know what paradigm we're actually going to be or what timeline and then paradigm we're going to be creating. And it could be like, okay, well, actually, OGMFG and Monty Gardens, Osiris Bridge is just like literally a, a, a new co- collectively or a new reality that people can jump into. And it's how you're literally going to escape the matrix or it's just fucking Zion. You know what I mean? Like we don't... Th- we're, we're using these vehicles now because that's what's available, but, but where we're going and just every, given everything is moving at such a rapid clip with AI being mainlined and mainstreamed, it's like, okay, well, it's happening exponentially quick. And also with rising food prices, inflation, crumbling dollar, and then the onset of wars, like reality and time itself is going to be changed drastically. And we're still going to have these vehicles that we've established to carry us into the new horizon does that make that being said my point is is like i just because we have these v- the vision we have of where we're going is still filtered through more or less how things are now but 
as things start to deteriorate, they're going to evolve into, into things that we can't even fathom right now. Mm -hmm. Does that make sense? Does that make sense? It makes perfect sense to me. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But I can fathom. Yeah. I feel you. No, I feel you. I feel That's you. That's my hard part. <laughs> you're, yeah, you're, your mind's already there. Because yeah. I'm super grandiose, bro. Yeah, I've always yeah, been yeah. very grandiose. I feel you. Too grandiose. Yeah. You know? Mm -hmm. I've, I love the show Succession. Yeah. You seen that show? No. It's a show about a billionaire family. Like I, I, that's me. Like I don't see why we, I don't see why we can't step into being multi billionaires. I don't see why we can't s step into like, like I said, even if it's on some, let's create our own town, let's create our own community, let's create our own. Like I'm, I'm down with like I, I'm, I'm down with like we don't need to work with the government or whatever the case. And we gonna better. I'm down with it. Like let's do it. And we're like we're. But are we look, ready for that? We're all. But we're, I mean, just to be objectively, we're already kind of involved in, in projects that are like, okay, we are building our own town. I know, that, but <laughs> I, I know, but it took, it, 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 but yeah. that's my point, yeah. right? Like it took the grandioseness yeah, I feel, <laughs> first I you, to know we could do it, yeah. to put the things in motion, and then Allah does what Allah does, which does. is, oh, actually, you feel me? We already actually that's already happened. Yeah. Now we can plug you into that because yeah. it's, it's, it's <laughs> yeah, you feel me, which it's is the redevelopment right of our own town and that's right. even just having access and equity and helping develop and being of service Fact. to that Fact. you know because i also learn about quote-unquote manifestation it doesn't have to be minds i have i can have some like grandiose ideas that i might think i want to do and then it can materialize in reality and it not be quote-unquote mine it could just be now in my uh, physical realm yeah. and i've had to learn how to like like navigate like for example when i i'll I, came back to Compton because I want to open up a plant-based vegan restaurant. I didn't open up a plant-based vegan restaurant, but guess what? They opened up Planet Health. Yeah. You feel me? They opened up. The, I came back. They have multiple vegan restaurants. Yeah. So, yeah, I didn't do it, but it's now in my physical reality. That's real. Mm -hmm. yeah, it's now in the ethers. And, and am I going to sit here and say, that's only because of me? No. But did I play a part? Yeah. And putting things no. in the universe? No, yeah, absolutely. Right. No, you're absolutely. Right. You are you you are a part of you know the collective chain of cause and cause and effect Definitely. or action and consequence that led to that happening. Yes. Period. So I just learned like that's how I look at manifestation. It's absolutely. like these grandiose ideas. It's like, yeah, I might see it one way, like you said, we might see it one way, we might fathom it one day, we might put it in this one context. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But then a lot of like, all right, well, you just you know, if you want to take this idea and put it down to reality, it's not going to look, smell, think how you look, smell, think it should be. It's not going right. to materialize the way I think it should materialize. But it doesn't mean it won't materialize. That's right. It just won't materialize the How? way we supposed to, we we think it was supposed to materialize. Yeah, and from, I, and I'm okay with that. From that one perspective you had in that one point in time. Yeah, because a lot has infinite perspective. He's like, okay, I feel you on that yeah. point, but you weren't seeing all the things yeah. that were happening. I I got that, yeah. and I got you, and this is what is. I'm gonna let you walk into what you what you had a part in creating. Had I been trying to open up a restaurant when I first hey, got back to Compton, I I wouldn't, it wouldn't have been able to do it. No, bro. And I would not be where I am. I would not be who I am. I would no, not be not focused on the things I'm not focused on. I would not be in this completely different trajectory. So man, and I like, had to sh shift back. my perspective as soon as I got back. Yeah. It was like, oh, this is why I'm back. Exactly, and then accepting that, not yeah. fighting that, not fighting that. Yeah, no. Nah. Yeah, and I'm curious what you think about like, since you've you had the most direct experience, and um, you know, because you went to assembling of you went you both went to college, like, how do you like this went whole? To the on blue. Yeah. So it was college, it was education, post, post secondary, post secondary education. I did. Yeah, yes, sir. But since you were like, you went to, you went a more uh, non conventional route than us. Like, what do you think about the whole notion of becoming the institution that is a legitimate, viable institution that is potentially more powerful than the conventional route of going to college for men? Like, oh, I think it's yeah, right. It's powerful, right? Yeah, uh, like. I mean, within my schooling, we actually built a whole city. Like, not, it was all theoretical. It was on paper. Mm -hmm. How are we going to, you know, have a, I think it was a hundred person camp. How was that going to look? How is, you know. Where was this? Like, what, what, uh. Um, we did it in Baghdad, Cal, I think it's California, Arizona. A city called uh, Baghdad? 
Yeah, so it used to be an old uh, uranium mine. Oh, dude, damn. Um, and so there was a reservoir. There's a, an off uh, stream from the Colorado River mm -hmm. that fills the dam area. So basically taking the knowledge that we learned and how we're going to set up a civilization to move out here. Mm. If Dude. California would have a major earthquake or a tsunami to hit it and we need yeah. to relocate. Yeah. And then what is Do it? Do you still like? have those like schematics and everything? Yeah. What pro yeah. what program was this for, bro? Uh this was for the permaculture class for USC. Oh, so dope. we basically you went to USC? Yeah. Hold on, wait, without, 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 oh, hold on, hold without, on. Without, without going and doing what the system tells us to do, somehow I still managed to go to school. Because you, okay. cause you a brilliant genius. Yeah. After Alaska, hold on, I gotta get the time. Nigga, right. gonna just slide. After Alaska, gonna just slide that. You're not yeah, gonna right. slide no USC <laughs> in, nigga. No, <laughs> like, <laughs> you're not having no USC slide in. Nah, bro. It's yeah, one of the yeah. most prestigious schools in the yeah, world. Yeah, it was a dope course. It was awesome. It was dope. Oh, so yeah. I'm just yeah. When? Like, when did this happen? So the this timeline. Was, all right, this so, nigga just slid in there. He went to USC. After Alaska, I moved back, like, I want to say 2019. Yeah, that's when I moved back, too. And then I was working at Sprouts, met this woman, oh, yeah, uh, Marilyn, uh -huh. in the vitamins department. She was like, oh, dude, you need to go to this permaculture class. Oh. And when I moved back, it was- Sprouts and Fullerton? Yeah, Sprouts uh -huh. and Fullerton. When I moved back- Shout out to Sprouts. I like Sprouts. sprouts. Like it's all right. I like sprouts. They they uh -huh. manipulating the mind as well. I understand. Hey, finesse. Hey, it's finesse. It's finesse. Um. So <laughs> gotta get it how you live. That's right. You're right. Yeah. So I moved back and I was like, all right, I gotta go to school. And so none of the opportunities were working out. And somehow on my birthday again, they had a discount for the course. Um, and I got it, and I started going, and basically it was high level. Education. They taught us intense and intensively for like eight hours straight what we have to learn about nature and how to read it and this and that. And then it was like, all right, now we're going to put you in a project and you guys have to figure out what your project is. And ours was how are we going to rebuild a city? Because mm. um, I met this brother, J Jeremy, who currently is in Ghana right now building his community, mm -hmm. building little factories and things yeah. like that for the neighboring community to have uh, employed work mm -hmm. while building up a fully sustainable system. Um, and you said in Ghana? He's in Ghana. Don't. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, I just took that time and Gordon. learned what I learned. And it was just like... We can do this. It's yeah. Not, yeah. It's, no. it's it takes having role players to understand, hey, I'm gonna take on education. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. And honestly, the best education is just having the children um grow up next to the skilled masters. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And yeah, absolutely. Then they just follow by yep. example. Yep. Yeah. Or follow their examples. And that's it. Um that's gonna Doing that and just, you know, having your agricultural system mm -hmm. placed, just certain foundational stuff, um, it creates the conditions for anyone to grow. Definitely. Man, woman, um, especially it creates stronger men to be able to lead. Like, hey, we have food, shelter, water secured, and our defense system. Yeah, yeah. So there's no one's going to get picked off by a mountain lion or picked off by, you know, a crazy person out on the road or in the world. Um, so then that creates better conditions for the mothers to just be mothers. And that creates better children. Yes, sir. Because now it's more of a peaceful household. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And that's really, that's the foundation of how we need to start moving and rebuilding. Fa facts, bro. Literally. No, yeah. facts, man. No, talk to them. Lord Literally. spoke so, about yeah. <laughs> I'm, 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 100%. yeah, so, yeah. Well, yeah. you guys were learning and yeah. getting to how can we actually have a city and and have our own. Like I was just learning pretty much how will it look running. Mm -hmm. What resources can we use immediately? Mm -hmm. what, yeah. What's the game plan? Okay, let's plant bamboo and all this stuff so that in five to ten years we have building material for. Yeah. The, 
all these expected families to live in and things like that, like stuff like that. Because bamboo just grows really fast, doesn't it? It's just like it keeps growing. Once it grows, like it just it's like a nonstop growing type of thing. Like it's always like expanding, and reproducing. Always expanding, especially if there's uh, a lot of water. So mm-hmm. if we're planting it along the rivers and things like that. Then the bamboo is just gonna grow. Yeah, it's just yeah. It's and there's different types, mm-hmm. you know. Um, but that also will change climate, allow you to grow other things. Mm-hmm. It would break the wind. Mm-hmm. Um, there's so many ways we can implement different plants into our structure or design our structure, mm-hmm. our city layout to protect us from certain things. Mm-hmm. I I feel you. Yeah, no, I super feel you. And I'm starting to I'm really starting to grasp like the 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 everything about your education has been raw. <laughs> you feel me? Like going to Alaska after fucking high school, raw. <laughs> Taking this permaculture class, learning how to build this is raw, raw. Slanging fruit in the Merck part on a raw. Yeah, bro. It's raw, bro. I'm, I'm raw. Like I'm ready. That's it's my raw. thing. Like I'm ready it's raw for everything to crash and burn. I'll be straight. Like yeah. we, I know nah, we, we can build. I know how to build a community garden. Yeah, I'm a chef. Yeah, I know how to grow food. I know yeah. how to cook food. I know how to distribute resources. I know yeah. how to communicate. I know how to create content. I know yeah. how to create education material. I know how to create curriculum. I'm yeah. with it. If this, if everything crash and burn, I'm let's no, do we, it. You got it, bro. But my point is like, how many people? Most people aren't ready to crash and burn. That's why I'm like, man, we let, we don't gotta do the anarchist talk because Nick, I'm ready. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And I'm with you, like. Let's let's go Good. find somewhere and rebuild. I'm down. Yeah. I, I'm definitely down to say we don't need no politics or nothing, and let's go start fresh and rebuild. But yeah. when we go rebuild, we got to make sure we got some structures in place and some administrative right, place, some things That's in place right. and some some accountability in place and ethical ethics, morals, society, man, man. accountability, proper check, checks and balances, governance. Like we yes. talked about, administration and governance. That shit doesn't go away. Just but I'm definitely you, like nah, with. I definitely I like am ready. I ready am. to grow some food and nah. build a community. Nah, for real, bro. Like I'm super ready, and like I'm, like it's just like there's a part of me that w- I I want I want to be there as quickly as possible. Yeah, yeah. Fact. no, like that's my dream. My dream still. I still ultimately want to open up a restaurant. Yeah, that's still like my dream. Yeah, and but, you're still gonna do that. Yeah, <clears throat> but I want a pyramid. A, I want a pyramid restaurant. I've been I stay, I've been studying a lot of pyramids. Oh, so I want like to build pyramids. And to have those be restaurants. That's essential within our structure of our city. It's, in, yeah. it's essential. Oh yeah, your boy. Tell him about. Uh, your boy went to Mexico. Went to the ruins, right? You, you did. Yeah, 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 bro. Yeah. I went to uh, recently this year. This year, Bacalar, Bacalar. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Out in, it's near uh, Belize. It's mm-hmm. like 20, 45 minutes up. Yeah, yeah. From, from Belize, they got pyramids in Belize too. Yeah, I bet. Mm-hmm. How do you spell? How do you spell that? Uh, B A. R R Baca 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 It's like a K, bro. So that's B A C C Bacarat Bacalar 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 Mexico. Yeah. Oh, okay. Cool. I have a vision of two pyramids I'm gonna build. So you got to build the sun pyramid. The no, nah, well, I'm gonna build a pyramid like the chakras. Oh, gotcha. Um, it's gonna be like a a healing center where you can literally walk in and have all your cells be rejuvenated. Outlined with uh, copper. Yeah. Mm. Got the crystal on top. The top is going to be going all down. clear as quartz. It's going to be all gemstone. The whole outside is going to be gemstones. Um, and then the topper is going to be. Is it all the wiring going to looks- be copper? But the topper, the top is going to be all clear quartz, and it's going to be magnetic. It's going to actually be 100 percent solar, but it's going to move with the sun. Mm. Yeah, uh, <laughs> you guys, you we all know Ormus, right? Olex? You know about Ormus? Ormus? No, 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 I don't. No, it, it's essentially creating, utilizing different materials, um, like metals and crystals, to create a charged. Um, I heard organite. It's like organite. It's like organite. It, yeah. Well, it's same field. Yeah, yeah. Um, but basically using that to deter like electromagnetic waves in the air. Yeah. Like yeah. radio waves. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, if they're trying to make, you know, fake clouds and things like that, like these things will literally shoot a beam up in the air and, mm. just, and break apart their clusters mm. and things like that. Um, it's kind of like the one they put on their phones, it's like as a on a bigger scale. Because, you know, I've seen the ones like people put like the radiation blockers and 
um I forgot the names of them. I can I'm drawing a blank, but like a lot of different like black stones. Doing that or even uh creating patterns, these ancient uh geom- geometric patterns within the pathways of the layout of the land hmm. or within your garden and things like that. And you can literally create this like ohm type of energy hmm. field. Dope. In in your whole environment, hmm. which you know, with that energy, it allows things to grow as freely as can be. Definitely. Yeah. Did you learn this? Where, where this specific data you learned where in Mexico when you just went? No, this is another just raw me downloads. Okay. Look at or building and tapping into the earth. Okay, understood. Um, okay. Yeah. Yeah. I know word. one day I, I word, was word, word. I was like I began like downloads about pyramids. And like I had met this dude who studied pyramids and he like go to Egypt and study the pyramids and I fucked his head up because I was giving him so much game about the pyramids and like, oh yeah, well, how they was built and how they had the same colors of the chakras and it would do the walk. And he was like, bro, like, how you know this shit? I was like, honestly, bro, I just be I remember. He was like, What you mean? I was like, I remember, bro. Like, I've unlocked my DNA. I just but I remember, bro. He was like, he was like, how you know that the second pyramid? I was like, bro, it's the it's the color, it's the chakra. Like the top is white, the bottom is red. And he's like, bro, a lot of people don't know that the second pyramid, the bottom of the pyramid is red. He's like, I'm like, nigga, I, I'm t- I know, bro. And I'm giving him so much things about pyramid and how it's radio stations, how we could talk to our ancestors in different planets and different star systems, and we could bring different kings in with their golden coffins and act like antennas and whoop whoop whoop. And he's yeah. just like. He's like, what the fuck, bro? He's yeah. like, yeah. He's like, bro, I spent my life studying pyramids, bro. I'll be in Egypt studying pyramids, and you just be knowing all this shit. And I was like, he was, it was, he wasn't like jealous. He was intrigued, but he was at the same time like, like, damn, like you niggas is like. I was like, yeah, bro, like yeah. it get deep, bro. Yeah. I, I just, I just bro. keep my mouth quiet. But and when you hear, like, bro, it, I, like, remember, I remember them, bro. No, nah, yeah, and it's like when you say, <laughs> when you say the truth. Especially that level yeah. and frequency of truth, it fucking resonates. Yeah. So like when you hear that, you're not gonna be like, oh Nikki, you crazy. It that 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 caliber of truth forces you to shut the fuck up and take all and be like, oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. He's on something. Yeah. You I mean, feel you me? Gotta unlock your DNA. No, for real. But I, I know that's why I'm here. I'm, I'm not gonna be done till I, I'm not gonna I know I'm not gonna leave reality until I build facts mega pyramids. And also you're not gonna get to the point where you're actually reduplicating mega pyramids without the discipline required to get to that level of I, expertise. Bro. I understand. Yeah. It yeah. take a lot of resources. Yeah it take a lot of resources. It take a lot of resources and it takes a lot of discipline not be distracted by the distractions we talked about before this podcast. It's long. Talking to both of you niggas right yeah, now. to the be distractions, man. Niggas talking about these pyramids, but we spent two hours talking about that fucking bullshit. Hey, man. It's not <laughs> bullshit. It's things we have to cook, get through and clear. It's the distractions, bro. We got to deal with it. It is not. It is what it is, it is yeah, right. we all are no, dealing it's with. It's what we're dealing All of us. I'm clear. Me too. Yeah. All dealing with it. All dealing with it. But if we spend... My point is, is like the more... The more we spend getting ourselves into more situations that are like that is going to derail us from having real pyramid talk. Also, remember the other part that I said that there was, <laughs> I'm actively the most single I've ever I been, and I'm I not think, entangled think, with anybody I think, I think, I think, at this present think, moment. This is the, I think, one of the rarest times in my life, bro. It's crazy. You're one-tenth less of a, of a nigga. I'm, I'm, <laughs> nah, I'm about to nigga, at least eight-tenth less of a nigga <laughs> off this one. But my phone be dry, bro. C- c- congratulations, bro. Keep up the good work. Uh, about, I want to, yeah, clear up, um, because I'm, I'm looking at these pyramids in Bacalar. That was not true. I any any, any specific any, up, any uh, download you got specifically? It looks dope, by the way. I'm looking at these these uh, ruins, Bacalar. Because you went there, right? You just yeah. went there. Yeah. yeah. So. Um, or was it just a good experience? Not really. Just the shit that we're on. Yeah. Like the stuff that I've been studying and, and actively observing within nature. That's all they were on. Okay. Understood. And okay. So like. To me, that's just a re, um, that's just affirmation for me to be like, all right, I know what I'm talking about. I know what I desire. Mm -hmm. I know that the way I process things naturally, my innate ability to tap in is true. Like I am getting downloads and codes from my, my DNA that's letting me know that like, we're not going backwards. This is going forwards. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because... These everyone wants to say like, oh, 
like how did we miss the pyramids like mm -hmm. if you look that landmass is really just flat mm -hmm. so if there's any type of hills and things like that that's because they're utilizing the structure of a pyramid to either read the sun read the moon tell when um when it's certain t uh, times of the season um really get a, a surveillance on the land mm -hmm. or yeah. read the the sky and things like that Definitely. so those are all things that we talked about you know securing the defense system mm -hmm. understanding the season so food mm -hmm. understanding when to reproduce there was a, a pyramid of the moon and the um tour guide guy was telling us how the mayans believed when conceiving a child when it's a full moon uh it produces more males mm -hmm. and because their thing was like they're looking to they're looking several years out like yo we know we need more men so that we can build our army we can build more structures we can start progressing our our uh, community at a faster rate hmm. because the spanish are coming in um they're bringing in a new type of weapon so we need to arms ourselves and that's just like what like we're over here talking about contraceptives and we're no we're talking about facts bro you know like how we shouldn't be having children right now and that's it's, right it's like yo no some some of these people we need to be having children that's right like we need more you know, if we're men of high value and high knowledge and high self-worth, being able to install these into children that are going to be leading the, the next generation. Definitely. <clears throat> because as we see, a lot of women have been, um, what's the word, deceived on what, <laughs> it, what, what it is to have a real man. Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. And so... That's trickling down to having, you know, more single mothers, mothers raising children, and they don't know what they're doing. They're no. pure emotion. Yeah, absolutely. So, yeah. you know, there's a saying that's like, right, a man that's full of emotion is a dangerous man. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because he's erratic. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You can't control it. Mm -hmm. That's right. And we're seeing that in the hoods. Mm -hmm. Yeah, facts. We're just, oh, what? You have an ounce on you? Pop. Yeah. I just came up on 400 bucks. You killed a man for $400, bro. Like, that's sad. Yeah, that's real. Rather that's than real. it's like, oh, you got an ounce? All right, well, I got people. Well, why don't we work together? <laughs> and then next time you'll be able to get two ounces. And then, oh, wait, we found a dude who can grow it. Yeah. Oh, well, this guy can build a greenhouse. Oh, now we, we all in business. There we go. Yeah. Because we can set aside our emotions and be like, hey, Let's get out the mud. Mm -hmm. Facts. Yeah? No, facts. Facts. So that was a cool takeaway from up there. I feel it's a good takeaway. <laughs> it's a great takeaway. No, it's just... So that, that, yeah. I got some offline questions from, from that, but... I got some. I understand. I got some. I got some offline questions for now. <laughs> okay. 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 Understood. I yeah. guess one more thing was, yeah. too, is uh, yeah. how well they utilize the resources around them. Mm -hmm. Right, the Mayans were one of the most richest um, tribes of people or societies, and their main commodity was salt. Mm. Mm. No, it's right. You told me preservation. Now, yeah, preserving. You said everything. that was the a Aztecs or Ma Mayans that the salt. Mayans. Okay, yes, sir. The Aztecs had the gold, okay, the emeralds, the obsidian. Mm -hmm. They had all the jewels, mm -hmm. but it was like. <clears throat> when famine would start to set in, there's, you know, droughts and things like that. They're like, yo, how are we going to preserve our food? Mm -hmm. And the mines were just like, oh, yo, we got all this salt. Mm -hmm. Like, who wants it? Mm. Well, we want your gold. We want your, you know, this and, Facts. That and this and that. Damn. But it was really neat. These people were on such, like, business time yeah. that they utilized their white limestone to create roads. Mm-hmm. So that at night, when the sun sh or the moon shined, mm -hmm. the white on the road reflected the sunlight. Mm. The then, moon, the moonlight, the moonlight. Yeah. My bad. Okay. So they were able to walk on these paths. Nice. But even with that being said, it's like now they had towers 
where men would just stand up there and they could see people coming from miles and miles away. Mm-hmm. So no one was coming up on them. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because they been saw you. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Long and time ago. If you try to go in the jungle, <laughs> you got to deal with the animals. You got to deal with the jungle. Yeah. So then it was just like, yo, having that self awareness, yeah, and knowledge of what resources you have around Facts. you. Facts. The security mindset. You know, yeah. no, for real. And we, that's also part of like building our own shit. Is like, yeah, we have to secure it. Like that's part of it. And um, it's all about having that. You get that mentality. That that's that's like number one. That's a soldier's function is to protect. You know, to be on on post, to be always aware of what's going on, to alert, to alert officers about, hey, yo, we see troops coming. Let's let's put a plan. Let's put a plan in place so nobody dies mm-hmm. or the the amount of people of our people that die is less because we took plans to play that's warfare mm-hmm. so but this this psychology this is not something that is trained in roman schools they ain't gonna train you to think like a soldier you know they don't train peons to think like soldiers they train peons to be like to be slaves to their empire i mean no, only the army do Fa- no facts facts no for real their army right yeah no and it's only within, only to serve their military objectives. And that's, and that's well, A-OK. And I understand that. But I'm just like, you know, we're on our own time. We're on our, we got our own objectives. So it's like, all right. That's why I think where we're going is actually giving, building that institution. Going, because, you know, we have businesses. But a business becomes an institution. And an institution becomes a means by which men become, are, there's a rite of passage and men become um, trained and able to, to advance and promote and propagate our empire. And it's funny because now that I'm thinking, you know, that remember that project that I mean in San Diego? Like he actually has a rite of passage. He's starting like mm-hmm. a rite of passage program out there. I'm mm-hmm. not sure if you've been tapped in or like, because I forgot about that. You were tapped into that. Yeah, but no, he's actually been doing rite of passage stuff out there on the land in San Diego. So I'm like, oh, we we do have a potential compound B. Sorry, I'm giving a lot of data on this podcast. <laughs> Whatever. Yeah, I could probably talk about this. Not too much detail, but um, but but point is, there's there is a to flesh out all of like this, like this God level talk, you know, because we went from like talking to administrative and like you know gauging in this world, but now we're like, okay, now niggas talking pyramids. It's like that's a pyramids and building that, the kingdom. That's a different level. It's all, it's, it's all, <laughs> that's, that's a different always level, the end bro. game. That's you know, always that's the, the end, that's end game. That's the end game, and that's the time we operate on. But it's like you know while we're while we're in Rome, doing in Rome, we get that. But now it's like okay, niggas on pyramid time, bro. And, you know, I haven't had, like, memories of me being here in this America. I've, I've always been memories of feelings of Kemet. I've always been, okay, I was there. So, but the fact that you have memories of being there, I'm like, oh, shit. We got multi-continental Asiatic knowledge about how to do this shit. And we're putting things in place to get to this level. And now we're getting, we're getting access to land and resources to make shit, real shit happen. So I'm like, oh, dude. Now, like, part of me is like, fuck the bullshit. How, 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 we, how we get the shit cracking ASAP? You know what I mean? That's that's the energy I'm on right now. <laughs> you feel me? No, right? I'm just building. Right? Just build it. Build, it. <laughs> build the plan and let people know you want in. It's going to be 10 grand. <laughs> hey. <laughs> yeah, man. And I'm not sure if you've seen pictures of the land in San Diego, but there's, man, it's dope. It's a mountain that looks like a pyramid. So, like, yeah, now I'm like, oh, it's all aligning and making sense. And I, I don't think you've met Amina in real life. Have you? I don't think so. Yeah. I, if it's, Queen, I, it's Queen Amina's son. His is... Uh, if I did, I was probably working. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I don't think, you, I don't think you've met him. But yeah, anyway. But Queen Amina's son. And um, yeah. Now, the San Diego thing has always been... A, it's a cool thing, but now I'm like... And actually, we, man, no, one of the first... We, we all linked up at Black Market Flea, the first one we all did together. We actually had that conversation. You were like, no, I want to actually... Did you say you want to build pyramids in San Diego? You, you had a specific thing you wanted to do in the San Diego land. You're like, I... Do you I, remember what you I, said? I want to create food forces. That, that was it. It was food forest. That's right. Okay. Like, I want to honestly like create a forest to where like, in 25, 35 years, like, we're walking through that like, bro, this is... Mm-hmm. There's plants everywhere. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But like to the train eye, you know, that's medicine, that's rope, that's over there, what we get seasonings from. Oh, that tra- tree is gum, and that's, yeah. you know, you mix that with some, uh, some of the um, clay over there, and now we got cement, like shit like that. Mm. Like, dude, when I was there, also at the Mine Ruins, like 
they had an allspice tree. They had a kapal tree, like, right in front of a shrine. Mm-hmm. Like, they had their resources right there. Mm-hmm. So they didn't have to go out, go forage, go do this. It's like, oh, yeah, let's just, oh, there's this kapal. Let's put it on the ceremony, um, the burners, and boom, it's time for ceremony. Word, mm-hmm. word. I'm thinking, like, just given where we are right now, I think we might have to do a little ceremony out there in that San Diego land, like go camping for a night and actually, like, go in there with it, go out there with intention. Yeah. The, You'd feel me? The ancestors will speak. That, for real. Those lands was very... For real, bro. It's people. right, literally right on the border. Of medicine. Right on... Yeah, exactly. Medicine, bro, like... Yeah, actually, like, and I would deputize probably you to think of like the actual program like what are we going to do like for real like what do we want to go down there what do we want to accomplish what is the ritual to establish think about that ritual and that'll be your post oh, I already I already know okay I understand it's kind of like for real there's like a natural sense of whenever I'm in nature it's like first bro first you know you I feel this this is I, you just you pray and then second yeah. thing is you go touch some plants and whatever's in seeding you grab their seeds and you know you hold it you keep admiring what has been given to us okay. and then you spread the seeds in different places and when you sit down and you get started sit and this is how this this would be a real business meeting you feel me like this is this is how we do business <laughs> this, is, this is how we do business you know what i mean you know this is nice and i like the admin and corporate shit too but i'm like no i'm like i'm really this is the bridge it's, man. The, it's the bridge it's the bridge this is what we do we bridge with that you know we use this as a means to get to that but i'm like man niggas don't really gotta wait no more you know you know I, what i'm I, saying I not and not in every lane it's like no we have access to 30 acre, acres of land out there. There's a mountain. There's no, nah, bro. There's courts on the mountain. There's literally everything is right next to the port of Mexico. It's like, let's get it cracking. There's literally nothing stopping us. We have vehicles. I have tents. Like, no, let's go. Let's do it. Two hours away. So, it's going to happen. Even better. It's next to Mexico. We can literally go buy whatever we need to buy in Mexico. Oh, back and, and go to Mexico. And actually, get stuff done. It. Get stuff done in Mexico because actually, there's stuff, there's work you need to pick up in Mexico. You niggas have fun with that. <laughs> I'm down for the ritual. I'm down for this for the uh, coming of age situation. Yeah, I'm not trying to just be thugging it in, in in the desert though. You don't like camping? No, nigga. Really? <laughs> nah. Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. Hold on. You don't like camping out in the wild? I will go do it as an experience. And then that's it. Like, I, it sound like you like let's go down there. Like, put a lot of energy in nah, time. Nah. I was thinking one like no one night. Once, oh yeah, let's do. One. I'm down for okay. Yeah, that's different. But did you you thought I like live there, bro? Yeah, I don't know what you on, bro. So I'm like, bro, I don't know what you got <laughs> no, going. I don't know oh, what no. this nigga bro, talking no. about. You know, bro, I'm with you, but like, I can't. <laughs> no, 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 bro. I'm not trying. I'm, I'm not trying to. I'm not, trying to, I'm not trying to live in the move into the desert right yeah, now. Yeah, okay, bro. for sure, bro. Nah, me neither. That's I'm like, I don't know. You never got that vibe though. I'm like, I know it's late. You know what I was like? We're just talking. I know it's setting up shop. A ceremony. I know it's two thirty, but I'm like, bro, I can't go there with you, bro. I can't, ceremony. I can't it's do that one night. It's one night. We go there with intention, and we have a ceremony, and we we leave the ceremony with like, oh shit, now, now we see see it. I'm down for that. No, I think we I'm should. I'm down for that. Yeah, for real. So you know, I'll have to talk to talk to your boy. I mean, tomorrow I'll be like, hey, bro, let's make it happen. Let's make it happen. Let's make it happen, bro. I think that's a a good a good uh, conclusion. Yeah, I feel it's it. Two thirty. Yeah, you got things to say, man. Nah, yeah, it is two thirty. It's late. <laughs> yeah, it is late. We've got things to do tomorrow, but I think that's a you know that's a good yeah, that's a good point. Today we got things to do today. <laughs> yeah, right, got things bro. to do in a couple hours. <laughs> like I said tomorrow. Tomorrow was Thursday. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> All right, yeah, we good then. I'll close it out. In the name of Allah, the Beneficent, the Most Merciful. All praise is due to Allah, the Lord of the Worlds. The beneficent, the most merciful, the master of the day of judgment. Thee alone do we serve, thee alone do we beseech for divine aid. God is on the right path, the path upon whom thou hast bestowed favors, not upon whom thy wrath has been brought down, nor upon those who go astray. Amin. Amin.